Culture Club, brought to you by Hanum, the freshest bottled water made in Guam. Okay, hot for day. My name is Roman De La Cruz, and I work here at the Fuck Eye Shop, and as well as at The Effect. That's a good one. Um, how the, how how is the brand grown? I think right now what it seems is that the demographic that we've been trying to serve now understands that we were trying to serve that. I, in, initially, when we had first started the company, it was surrounded by like a lot of controversy just based on what the word meant uh, for, what fuck I meant for the generation before. You know, and so, so trying to, um, trying to, you know, uh, tweak that frame of thought to the generate, to what we were trying to push is fuck guys like fire initiative, you know, uh, you know, um, ignition, you know, to go for it, persevere, overcome. That's we, that was the mindset that we were trying to push, promote. And yeah, now I guess that demographic that used to kind of be on their, on edge about this, I think they understand that that's what we've really been here for. And it's at this point you blink and then now it's, we're helping their, you know, we're working with their kids now. Tumon has a very, you know, has some very deep ancestral history. You know, like there are thousands of burials that were removed from these coastlines that we, that still don't even get uh, proper recognition. You know, so now that we know this information, instead of just knowing this information in science, we thought this information is important enough to share. So by sharing this information, igniting that conversation, bringing the real scholars to the table, to talk about Tumon Village and extend that conversation about the rest of Guam and really examine our pre-contact history. You know, there's so many artifacts that tell these stories, but yet when you look, there's only, you know, the, the depth of our, the depth of our pre-contact history, it, it, it's, you know, it could be deeper. There's volumes and volumes of things that we know about the Spanish because they were good at recording this history. But, you know, if we allow, create access to these artifacts, these artifacts can ignite that story. And just through that conversation or artifact sharing, it's amazing that what you learn. It's important because you see it gives us roots, you know, and you see how, how lost people can be. And you, and you realize when you, if you take a step out and you speak to other people who don't necessarily know their roots or whatever, they, they, they almost become envious of, uh, envious, you know, and really because they can't trace these roots back. It's important, I guess, to do that because I think, especially with this growth of the population, we're at a, we're at a point where we're going to be able to set a, an example. It's... Uh, a little always counts, but it's never enough. But I think this younger generation is very impressive. You know, I'm, I'm not very, I haven't been very uh, involved with this for, I haven't been involved with this for a very long time. And the depth of my pursuit has gone mostly through slinging. But you know, like for the kids now, for the people now that are going out there, they're getting uh, jewelry, tattoos, basing artwork, you know, really. And then, you know, in some cases even embracing like that, that not just that inter uh, Mariana Island, but even that inter Micronesian, you know what I mean? Embrace, it's nice, an inter Pacific embrace. And we identify where the resources for the answers might be. We figure out a way to connect the dots, then it just makes for a more, uh, uh, like a more fruitful future, right? Hop day, my name is Juan Mandela Cruz and I am proud to be a part of KUAM's Culture Club. Rock on. Culture Club, brought to you by Hanum, the freshest bottled water made in Guam.